Hello guys and welcome to another session of Meeta Quotes with you. Today we are going to talk about another problem that is also very important and has been asked in various interviews like Visa, Adobe, Amazon etc. And this problem will be minimum window substring. So in this video we are given two strings that is S and T and we have to find the minimum window or that is the minimum substring in the S that contains all the letters of T. So now let's start with the problem. As you can see, here is a given string. In this problem, the first approach is to create all the substrings of this and match and find and match all the characters of T to find the output. But that will be the most that will be the most unoptimized method or known as the brute force. So today so we are going directly to the optimized method in this method what we are going to do we are going to create two hash tables or we can call as two box that will contain the letters and the occurrence of occurrences of those characters in the, in both the substrings in both the strings that is s and t and those boxes will be right here this is for the t and this is for the s so let us name it as box underscore t and this is box underscore s so what will we do at first we will add all the characters in the occurrences of t that will be a it will be 1 b 1 and c one this will be our box underscore t that are also the hash table for t now what we will do we will start iterating the given substring first is a and we will add the characters as per in the box a and its occurrences also we are going to maintain a counter count and we will plus it as we are going to find a character that is equivalent to box underscore t that is as we have found a we will make it as one now we was here now we we are here it is d so we will add d as d is not present so counter will remain same now at o same the counter will not remain now at e it will become one same the counter will not increase now at b as we have seen that the number intersects so we will make it as two now at e e is already so if we will just we will just uh, increase its occurrence and make it to now at c we will add c and we will increase the counter to 3 now as you have seen we have find all the characters in the in the given string t in s so this will be our first window or the first substring that will contain all the characters of t and we can see as the count is equal to the length of t now our second step will be now to find the minimum substring so in this case what we will do we will start removing the first character and we will maintain it as a pointer known as start we will increase the pointer and start removing the alphabets that is now it is d and we will remove the, remove the occurrence and make it zero as we can see that the 
the both the boxes are not colliding so we will also make the connector s2 and stop initiating our start counter and we will now again proceed with the normal that is now we will go to o and o here the count will remain same now to d making d2 now to e making e now to B make B2 and now to A making A back to 1 at this case as you have seen we have also find another substring that will that is all that that is containing all the letters and also increase the counter by three so we will again go to the start and start with o we will no 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 huh. yes we will now remove d and also d to one as we have also iterated it so one zero now we have come at e making e to 2 now to b making b1 as you can see b has also reduced but still we have matching character so we will not decrease count now to e a has become 1 now to c c has become zero at this case the counter will become two i will write it here so it will be easily count equals to two now the other substring that we have found now we have reached here so we will start iterating again at is nor as normal we have started at n we will add n here now we add at c so we will make c from 0 to 1 at this case our counter will become 3 and we have reached here so we'll start iterating our start again we have reached at o we will remove o from here we have now at d then we will be at e that will be removing both d and e from this this box making it zero and zero now we add our b after that we will remove b make it zero as you can see the boxes are not same so the string that we will get is this as our final string and we will be updating our length of the string as the length of this that will be 4 so now we have to return the substring that will be the substring of s from that will be the substring of s from so by this this will be the answer of our question now let us understand a little bit more clear with the code so you can see here is the code in this we are passing s and t as our, as our strings and these are the initial that will be creating this that will be getting the length of the s length of t and both the boxes 
in this we will be initiating this box as abc and 111 that is the input and this we will be initiating this start start index length length that will be the minimum length and counter so this will be the loop this whole part is declaration this is initialization of t underscore box this is the also initialization of some variables now this is this is where the main part begins in this we will start iterating our iterating our string and adding the characters as per this when the count will become equal to the length of the t string at that point we will start removing characters and and removing and decrementing the values from box underscore s at this case and this and this while loop will be doing that case we will we will also be updating the window size after per iteration and when the and when the count is not be remain equal to length that is the count will become less than the length of the t string we will we will just change change the length so this is how the minimum window substring is done so now let us code at the lead code side so you can see i have already coded in advance and you can found it you can find this code at our github repository let's run this code and check for some errors the code is good at some budget as you can see the run time is also less the code is also accepted and the, and the code is doing well so this is our quotient of minimum window substring if you like our explanation please like our video comment your doubts we will get through them and subscribe to our channel till then may the codes be with you